The cousin was traveling from the U.S. going back to Nigeria when she felt funny on the plane. By the time she got back to Nigeria and went to see the doctor, they said that she was pregnant, 59 years old. <laughs> Our story made national headlines in the newspaper in Nigeria. I pray for you, your testimony will make headlines. I say your testimony will make headlines because all things are possible with God. I know a woman who had no womb and she conceived and had a set of twins. And this happened after she was given one month to die of cancer. One month came, God visited her, she recovered from cancer, continued to live her life well with her husband. No long after, she conceived and gave birth to a set of twins. Somebody that was once given a verdict of one month to live because of cancer. Dry bones lived and became fruitful. Lift up your right hand. Say, my dry bones, my dry tree, hear the word of the Lord. You will live and be fruitful again. My dry bones, my dry tree, hear the word of the Lord. You will live and flourish in the name of Jesus Christ. Number three point from the story of the valley of dry bones is that there is nothing like a hopeless situation. Nothing hopeless concerning you. Ezekiel 37, 11. Ezekiel 37, 11. God said to prophet Ezekiel, these bones that you are looking at, they are the parable and illustration of the house of Israel. Because the house of Israel is saying that our bones are dry and our hope is lost. We are hopeless. We are cut off for our parts. And then God told Ezekiel, however, because with me, I can turn hopeless situations around. Prophesy to that hopelessness and see hope arise out of hopelessness. See help show up out of your helplessness. On this altar, I pray for you. What you consider hopeless situation shall be turned around. In the name of Jesus Christ, I say it shall be turned around. Helplessness will be turned around. Help we come to you from an unusual quarters. Help we locate you from unexpected quarters. God will arise when you least expect to turn things around for you. Like our brother who shared a 12 year old immigration story yesterday. I pray it will be your turn to testify on this altar. Job 14 17. Job 14 7. Sorry. Job 14 7. It says, There is hope for a tree. Even if it's cut down, it will sprout again. And that the tender branch thereof will not cease. That tender branch will make contact with the water. There is living water coming from this living altar. It is the living word of God, man. The living word of God is coming. It is the living water flowing from this living altar of God. This living water of the word of God will alter that hopeless situation. We alter that helpless situation. We turn it around around in the name of Jesus. As many of you tonight before you leave, as many of you as we touch this altar, prayers have been going on non-stop for several hours on this altar. I warned you last night, this altar is no longer ordinary. As many of you as you make a prophetic contact and touch with this altar, preferably with seeds on your hands, I pray for you, the living word of God that is going forth from this living altar. We become living streams. We become living water. And you will come alive again. The dry bone will come alive again. The dry tree will sprout again. The tender branch has not ceased. Your tender branch is here tonight. Because you are here, your tender branch is here. And your tender branch will make contact with the living water of the living altar. And the matter will be altered. I say the matter will be altered. The matter will be altered. Ayikbada Ashele, Lori Oronye, it shall be altered. Say it loud and clear. The matter will be altered. The matter will be altered. Ayikbada, Atushia Deba, it shall be altered in your favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Shout hallelujah. Nothing like a hopeless situation. With God. During COVID, a few of our brethren were terribly afflicted, some to the point of death. 
One of them actually died at Lewisham Hospital. He was in coma for 21 days. All that time, we were doing night vigil prayer. Of course, we couldn't meet and assemble in the church, but over the line, we were praying night vigil. We fasted 40 days and 40 nights with daily prayers, which God gave me the grace to lead all the 40 nights. It was in the midst of this that we had some of our members in critical care in the hospital. I see you and all that. And this particular brother was in coma for 21 good days. After 21 days, they declared him gone. And as they were preparing to pack him up, when he later shared his story, he said that he clearly saw that he came out of his body. He came out of his body at Lucia Hospital in London, and he could see himself floating on the rooftop, on the ceiling of the hospital room, the ICU room that he was in. And he said he could see the doctors and nurses. They were battling over him, battling over him, battling over him, until finally they said, oh, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. He said the moment they were saying he's gone, he's gone, he saw himself moving away from that room, and there was no barrier at all. He said everything was free. No wall, no nothing. He said in his heart, he just wanted to see his wife and his children. He just wanted to see them. So he said he saw himself moving away and at a very fast speed. And then he said he saw himself. He got to the bus stop. He wanted to take bus 47. There's a bus stop right in front of Lucian Hospital. I know Lucian Hospital very well because my, 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 my first son was born there. He saw himself. He was at Lucian, uh, the bus stop, waiting for bus 47 that would take him to Groove Park, where he lives. He said he was there waiting and waiting for bus 47, and the bus did not arrive. Every bus assigned to take you to untimely death, untimely grave, bus here on a day, that bus will not arrive. That coffin will never be delivered. It will not arrive. In the name of Jesus, the funeral directors will not show up. They will not arrive, for it is not yet your time. He said the boss will not arrive. So he saw himself floating back. Floating back to the hospital. Floating back to the hospital. And then boom, he landed again in the ICU room. He said he saw his body. And lo and behold, he entered back his body. Do, 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 do. And one nurse screamed and said, oh, oh, he's jacking, he's jacking. He's shaking, he's shaking, he's shaking. And he came back to life. That happened when saints were praying. We were praying, we were fasting, we were calling upon the name of the Lord. His dry bone came back to life. The day he shared the testimony, we were all shaking like this. Beloved, there is life after life. A lot of lessons to learn. You say some people have, some people, there is no one who had died and come back. I can tell you, not lie. There are people who have seen the other side and they came back with true story of what it can look like. But that's not the message for tonight. What we are saying tonight is that there is nothing that is totally hopeless with God. And even what you consider hopeless, God can turn it around. If you can do it for that brother, he will do it for you. One shame, dada. Fourth point. Note this. Everything, living, dead, animate, inanimate, Objects, situations, circumstances, spirits, demons, Satan, visible things, invisible things, the elements, the sun, the moon, the stars, the air, the cloud, the wind. Listen to this. They all have ears they can hear. They all have ears they can hear. Numbers 28 and 9. Numbers 28 and 9. Moses can speak to the rock. And the rock answered. Your rock will answer tonight. First Kings 13, 1 to 3. First Kings 13, 1 to 3. The young prophet could speak to the altar at Bethel. And the altar responded. Mark 4, 39. Jesus Christ could speak to the raging storm. Peace be still and the storm. Hard and obeyed. Joshua 10, 2. Joshua could speak to the sun and the moon. And they responded and helped him to conquer. I command all the elemental forces. They will begin to cooperate with you. I said they will cooperate with you. They will not work against you. They will work for you. 
the sun, the moon, the stars, they will not cooperate with your enemies in the name of Jesus.